Infernal Kudra. Alongside the Wither King and M7, these two bosses represent the absolute peak of combat in Hypixel Skyrim. And on top of that, Kudra is also one of the best and most consistent money-making methods in the game. In order to even begin playing Kudra, I had to first gain the reputation of hero for my faction in the Crimson Isle. So I spent the next couple months doing daily quests to gradually grind up the reputation I needed. This took a very long time, but after countless mini-boss kills, resources gathered, and rescue quests completed, I became a hero of the mage faction. I then spent countless hours grinding flares in order to gather the stars necessary to be able to buy the keys for the Kudra chests. And with all that, I was ready to start my Kudra journey. But I didn't only want to be some average Kudra player. I wanted to become a Kudra expert. The most prestigious role for any Kudra player, which can only be achieved by an elite group that meet a certain list of requirements. However, I did not let these daunting tasks frighten me, and I began my journey to become a Kudra expert. Starting off, there were several profile requirements that I had to meet in order to become a Kudra expert. The first of these was to have 1.1k magical power. Thankfully, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I already had more than enough magical power to meet this requirement. The next one, however, was not so simple, as they asked for 50 levels of dominance or lifeline. For those who are unfamiliar with what that means, each tier of an attribute you have on a piece of gear gives you a point into that attribute. And your cumulative profile attribute level can only be counted if you can wear all of these items at the same time. For example, even if you have dominance on two separate necklaces, only the one of the highest level could be counted. So essentially, I had to hit 50 levels of dominance with only my armor and equipment set. And to make things worse, my helmet had to be the Warden Helmet, so that's one less item you can get levels on. Now, I had to choose between Dominance or Lifeline in order to reach this requirement. For those unfamiliar with these attributes, Dominance increases your damage when you're at max HP, and Lifeline increases your damage when you're under 20% HP. Lifeline is much more powerful than Dominance, but it's also harder to utilize due to it being much more difficult to be underneath 20% health constantly than being max health. And in order to achieve that permanent 20% or below health, you would need to use a lava shell necklace which stopped you from healing, and purposely damage yourself to get yourself low enough for the damage boost to take effect. In the end, I chose Dominance, since I already have some Dominance equipment pieces, and Dominance was overall just cheaper. It would also make it easier for me to learn Kudra, as I had one less thing to worry about, and now with my attribute chosen, it was time to reach 50 levels of Dominance. I achieved this by getting Dominance 8 on my Terror Chestplate, Leggings, and Boots. I also got Dominance 6 on my Molten Necklace, as well as Dominance 6 on my Molten Cloak and Implosion Belt. With those, I had reached 42 levels of Dominance, which meant I still needed 8 more levels in order to reach the 50 requirement. However, I had to somehow get 8 levels on my Gauntlet. The issue was that getting Dominance 8 on a Gauntlet was insanely expensive, especially as I used the Gauntlet of Contagion, and I really just didn't have the money for it at the time. But then I had a genius idea. I had a Dominance 8 Glowstone Gauntlet just lying around from the past, and when I checked with the bot if it did count for my total Dominance level, it did. And with that, I had reached all 50 levels of Dominance and could move on to the final profile-based requirement which is subscribing to Vintus. So I quickly went and subscribed and completed the final profile task. But even with these tasks completed, that alone wouldn't be enough to make me a Kudra expert, as I would also have to meet the gear requirements. Now the first item requirement is to have a Hyperion. Now of course here I have my trusty Hyperion. It can be any other Wither Impact weapon by the way, but I choose to use a Hyperion. In Astraea, it can be really helpful if you need survivability, however. The next item they need is a Duplex or Fatal Tempo Terminator. I got this, I got Duplex on it. I put 10 stars so I can use it for dungeons, and it's just a very good Terminator. I also spent the extra money to get myself stuff like Vicious 5 and Cubism 6 in order to increase my damage against Kudra. The next requirement is of course then a Warden Helmet, which I have a beautiful Warden Helmet here, and I have the Teal Warden Skin for a reason that I'll explain to you in a bit, but it's probably pretty obvious now. 
I then had to get three quarters Infernal Terror. Unfortunately, it's a little jittery because of the die, but here it is, three quarters Infernal Terror. And all of it is Warden dyed, and it matches so well with my Warden armor and the Teal Warden helmet. So it's just really cool overall, and it's just a great combination. And of course, it's Infernal with Dominance and Mana Pool. For those wondering why Dominance is important, I explained earlier, obviously, Dominance is more damage when at full health, but Mana Pool might be a little bit more confusing. This is because during the final phase, you actually want to Mana Drain to boost people's ferocious or strong mana enchantments on their armor, and for that reason, you want to have more mana, which Mana Pool does for you. The next item on the requirement is Fiery Aurora, which I then also went ahead and got Fruits. The helmet is Wither Goggles. I use this because it helps me clear during the boss fight, but overall this is my Aurora set. I have Refrigerate 5 on the chest plate to help me survive better while I'm wearing it because you do take a crap ton of damage during the clear phase. Additionally, it was very difficult for me to select what attribute to get on my Aurora, but I finally settled on Mana Regen Federal. The best is obviously Mana Pool Mana Regen, but that's extremely expensive, and I went with Mana Regen Veteran because I will also be using this Aurora to do Slayers, and having the extra combat XP is extremely helpful when fighting the Slayer bosses because you can spawn them faster. After the Aurora set, we then have the next requirement in items, which is a level 200 Golden Dread. I have my trusty Golden Dragon here, and it has the Ancient skin, no reason for that, it just I thought it was pretty cool. And it has a Dwarf Turtle Shellman so you don't take knockback, which is very important, especially in the final phase, if ever you get knocked back by the blazes that randomly aggro you, or in the first phase as well, when you're trying to get supplies, you don't want to get knocked into the lava by the bombs. On top of that, obviously they require you to have a billion coins in the bank, so I have a billion coins in my bank to help boost the Golden Dragon's perks, which is very important, obviously, for more death. And that is all the required items for Kudra Expert, but there are also several other items that are extremely helpful and honestly almost essential for Infernal Kudra that I also went and got. I got myself this Hellfire Rod. It can be any Lava Rod, but since I'm going to use it for fishing anyways, I might as well get myself a Hellfire Rod. I got the Open Shop, which is an obvious purchase because it helps you use the shop from anywhere without having to go to the shop. I also got some Fire Veil one. This is to help me clear and is also very helpful when you're building because it will allow you to DPS even when you're not using abilities. So I also went ahead and got Wither Cloak Sword which is an obvious one. Whenever dropships fall or whenever you take too much damage, you can Wither Cloak to take no damage. I also got myself a Ragnarok Axe to increase my DPS in preparation for the final phase. An Endstone Sword is used to Mana Drain, which is something I touched on earlier, it's very important as well. And a Last Breath is used to weaken the defense of the Kudra boss. And I've got Duplex on it because that allows you to shoot out more arrows, which essentially allows you to stack Last Breath faster. In addition to that, I also got myself, of course, my Spirit Mask. This is very useful to survive, especially when you're taking a lot of damage during building. You can swap the Spirit Mask and it gives you 5 seconds of immunity. I also got myself 3 quarters Reaper armor. This is only used for its ability, where if I crouch, I then get the boost and I can just switch my armor back. As a little demonstration here to show you guys what I mean by that, imagine I'm DPSing in the boss fight right now, I'm shooting my Terminator, and then I'll go like this, go into my equipment tab with the, with the hotkey I have, I sw switch to my Reaper, I crouch to activate its ability, and I switch back to my armor. This will give me the damage boost from the ability while not sacrificing any stats from my armor. Now moving on to the equipment pieces. My full equipment set is Dominant's Mana Pool, except for my Gauntlet, which is Dominant's Speed, because I used to use it for dungeons. I also have myself a Gauntlet Contagion with Dominant's Mana Region that I use for clear when I'm clearing the first phase. And yeah, that's overall obviously all of its wax and recon for the maximum crit chance to boost determined. In addition to all of that, I also went and got myself the SOS Flare with the boosted stats and a recon, because why not? And this SOS Flare is essentially to give us all these awesome stats to help us during the boss fight. And since the range of the SOS Flare is absolutely massive, you can use it to pretty much almost boost everybody during the boss fight. 
And of course, this is not really much of an item, but there's also, of course, the Ender Pearls, which are very helpful because you can use those to get back into the map whenever you collected a crate from far away. Ender Pearl to the center. And there's also a couple more additional items. I have bundles of Mam Arrows in stacks of 11 because of how much you need to fill up your quiver. And I have these essentially as they give you extra stats, which increase your overall DPS in the final phase. And I also have an Ender Chest page dedicated solely to Toxic Arrow Poison in stacks of 16 because it's around how much you need for the DPS phase during the hits phase of Kudra. So I have these, so during a boss fight, when preparing for the DPS phase, I'll just go menu, click, click, boom, and I'll have Toxic Arrow Poison in the main list. Extremely useful to have, and I put this on the last page because it's easy to access. But overall, that is all of the gear. This is a lot of things, obviously, if you need to replay that part, go ahead. This video is not really much of a guide on gear. I am considering making a progression guide showing you the gear for each tier and the gear based on what point the game you are. If you guys are interested to see that, make sure to like this video and subscribe so I know you guys are interested in Kundra content. And also leave it down in the comments section so I know even more. But that's about it for the gear. Let's move on to the final requirement, becoming a Kudra expert. Final requirement to meet. In order to truly become a Kudra expert, I had to defeat Infernal Kudra 750 times. Turns out that in order to be considered an expert in Kudra, you actually had to play Kudra. I know, right? What an outrageous request, but it had to be done. So armed with all my new gear, I set up on my Kudra journey. And eventually, after months of work, I had not only reached the requirement, but I shattered it and completed over a thousand runs. In the process, I made billions of coins, gained the Golden K emblem, upgraded my Kudra pet to Legendary, and finally, after months of hard work and grinding, I achieved the title of Kudra Expert. Wait, why is the emblem a silver medal?